my sweet Rebecca. This moment is so surreal. I am so incredibly excited to marry you. You have grown to be my closest and my best friend over the course of the many years we have known each other. My first thought when I had to write vows, of course I got some ADHD and I kind of like thought off the rail and I was thinking about all the times that we have to drive back and forth to see each other and you know, I miss you when you're gone and it's another hour when you can come over and I'm so excited to see you. I am so happy that we are not gonna have to do that anymore. <laughs> so looking back over all the years we did in high school over the past three years, you kind of remind me of Rapunzel. Even though she was a princess, you know, she just wanted to go out and have adventures, but she was locked up. She was so, so strong-willed, creative, and brilliant. She didn't need a significant other to be successful or feel loved or, or anything. Those are all the same traits that you radiate. She wasn't a damsel in distress. I feel much more like Fl Flynn, crude, rugged, and a little, but kind of handsome. Point is, she didn't need someone to complete her. She needed someone to compliment her. You don't need someone to complete you. You only need someone to accept you completely. I love that about our relationship. There is so much acceptance and understanding, especially from you. I love how accepting you are. I love how compassionate you are. I love how attentive you are, especially when you're around me. I love your sense of adventure and your willingness to travel all over the place. Most of all, I love the look on your face when you're feeling pure happiness. I appreciate so much how you helped me push forward through my fears and my insecurities over the years. Do you remember the time when you came to surprise me in South Carolina? I was absolutely shocked. It is not easy to shock me. <laughs> After my shock faded, I was expecting my normal feelings, which if you didn't know this about me, I actually don't like surprises like that either. I immediately get overwhelmed, I get frustrated, I can act irritated. But to my surprise, I didn't feel any of that. Instead, I was flooded with a myriad, myriad <laughs> of incredible thoughts and, and joys. It was so amazing to see you there in front of me. I wasn't overwhelmed because I didn't make any plans or because I looked like a bum. I felt loved, cared for, excited, and overjoyed. That was the moment I was certain that I was going to marry you. So here are the things I can promise to you, my soon-to-be wife. I vow to be a strong but gentle man gentle with my words, gentle with my hands, and gentle with my love. I vow to make sure, under any circumstances, that you always get the most possible sleep. I vow to grow and nurture my relationship with Jesus so that I may be a great spiritual leader. I promise to put you first and foremost in my life here on earth, to be attentive to you, and to give you my attention when you need it. I vow to do my best to not bring more any more spontaneous pets. I vow to love you well, to be a great listener and not just a fixer. I vow to support you, whether that be stepping in to make you breakfast or take care of our future little ones. I vow to continue my journey in making you the best iced coffee ever made. I vow to open myself up to new ideas, not just to the things that you love, but to things that are different to me or that may be new. I promise to lead our relationship with Christ and to communicate and learn together. Lastly, I promise to always push myself to be a great, great Swifty. All of this I promise to you in the worst of times and in the best of times for as long as we both shall live. Joseph Ryan, you are so special to me. I've been praying over this day and the time that we are committing to each other and our Lord for the longest time. I've always known you were going to be a big part of my life. And I still vividly remember sitting in your passenger seat on the way to our Sadie Hawkins dance. I was saying a quiet prayer because I was nervous and anxious for spending a day with a guy I hardly knew. I remember this overwhelming thought of be very present with this relationship. It's going to be very important. And look where God has led us today. Our love has grown, it has shifted and flourished. I'm so proud of who you are and who you will be. Over the years, I've seen you in many different phases of life. And one thing among many that has been very consistent is your passion to always be better. Whether that's improving your hospitality skills, honing, on, honing in on the best spot to catch a fish, or perfecting my coffee order, no matter how big or small. You have constantly and intentionally taken time to figure it all out and be the best you can for those around you. I'm, I so admire this about you. I'm so excited to commit to you 
and I can only hope and pray that my love will show you a glimpse of how much our Lord loves you. Today I vow to pursue Christ first. I vow to pray over you. I vow to grow and adopt with you. I vow to be the peace in your chaos. I vow to find laughter in the mundane. I vow to assume goodness and kindness. I vow to be faithful and gentle. I can't wait to see you grow and how you grow throughout your life. And I'm so honored to be right next to you. Thank you for challenging me, encouraging me, and most of all for loving me. With the authority given to me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Joey, you may kiss your lovely bride. For the first time, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Price. wonderful sister, Rebecca. It's been incredible to see her have such a great relationship with Joey, and I couldn't be more excited for them. I'm grateful for the bond we've shared from our childhood to adulthood, and I'm so thankful for you. I love you so much. Joey, over the course of you and Rebecca dating, I've been able to recognize your sense of humor, your thoughtfulness that touches all of those around you, and that you can make a mean turkey. I'm so happy, Joey, that you're part of our family now. I love you both. Cheers to Rebecca and Joey. When you guys are together, you're both so kind, so thoughtful. You always put others before you, and it's always a bunch of fun. If you've ever gone fishing with Joey, you can immediately feel the passion behind the sport, the skill that he has for it, and his incredible patience with his passengers. I got stuck in rocks, trees, weeds, so many times. And every single time, Joey came over to fix the problem, and he actually gave me his pole so that I could keep fishing. And that's the kind of person Joey is. Um, sacrifices and wants everyone to have the best time possible. So that always really stood out to me. I think one of the, the biggest strengths that I see in Becca is she's so in touch and in tune with what people need before they need it. And I've seen that play out in your guys' relationship in the way that you love and pour into Joey. So I think that's just a really special way to show someone. So Joey, Becca, I love you guys so much. Uh, and please raise your glass and cheers to the bride and groom. Joey and Rebecca, I wish you the best life has to offer. And I know you two continue to love and support each other. Join me in raising glasses for those to celebrate these Cheers to the They believe in what a covenant is. The big difference is that you sign a contract, it's about your best interest. It can't be dissolved, it can't be broken. This is important. And they understand and believe in what the covenant stands for. It's faith based, it's spiritual, it's to each other. And the most important part for you is that they did it in front of God, in front of their parents, and all of you. You all are witnesses tonight. So at the end of tonight, you're married for the very first time. I'm sure you're going to say to yourself, all's well that ends well with you. All right? And how about a quote from my generation here? Anybody old enough to remember Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? All right. So Rebecca and Joey, be excellent to each other. And party on, dude!